Hi, this is Manas Vilas and you are watching Making of the Filmmaker, ESFF event powered by Diospin Productions. Emirates Short Film Festival is celebrating its 7th edition this year. Over 100 films right from US, UK, all across Europe, India, Pakistan, Iran, Egypt, Turkey, Philippines, my god, list is not stopping. Definitely UA though. All these films will be showcased right from 13th of December to 15th of December at Vox Cinema Dubai. Grand finale will be on 17th of December, the Friday. Dios Film Productions is offering platforms to all the filmmakers to promote their films. Today, I've got a gentleman in studio who is representing Bollywood Channel in Arab region. He started his career as actor and developed himself as director and writer too. Yes, it's none other than Yasir and his team for the film Dhul. Yasir, welcome. Please, good to see you. Good to see you guys. Good to see you. So, Yasser, welcome to the studio. Thank you very much for having me on your show. Anytime. It's a pleasure to have you guys, you know. Um, can you introduce to your team? Absolutely. So, I'm blessed with the best team, yeah. I would say. So, uh, starting with Aisha Naman. Yeah. Uh, she's an entrepreneur and a successful actress as well. Right. She's the first one to be in the Pakistani film that's released on Netflix, Pinky Mensa. Okay. And then I have Asim from our production team. Um, banker with profession and filmmaker by heart. Wow. Um, so yeah, I mean, we make the, I think the best team, the passionate team, I would say. Right, right. Yeah. So I think, so you was in uh, Pinky Mimsa? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, sounds yeah, good. So, so which role was though? I was one of the friends of the main character. So it was really good. It was oh, okay. Good. It was a good experience? Excellent yeah. experience. I think that was one of the film uh, made in Dubai itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was really so it's a good experience. It was a good experience, yeah. yeah. So, so coming back to Dhul, hmm. you know, uh, Hindi me Dhul is, uh, I think, is it in Hindi or? It's in, it's, it is in Hindi, yeah. Right. Subtitled in English and, and Arabic for sure. Okay. But uh, the, the, the main language is Hindi. Right. And how was your experience all across? Well, it's a, it's a, like it's a journey because it was um, our, our baby project and right. it was very, very dear to us. Mm -hmm. And um, the main focus of us were to make some intense content. Right. And it's very dialogue based, very intense, very like deep sort of love story that I would right. say. Okay. So you wrote it or you directed it? It's, uh, it's written by a Pakistani writer Tahreen Bukhari, but okay. the, uh, like I wrote the screenplay because mm -hmm. it it, it's based on a novel. So to, right. to, to sum up the entire novel in a, in a short film, yeah. it was a task itself. So, so we don't lose the essence, uh, like essence of the story right. um, and to make it short and crisp. Mm -hmm. um, so it was a task. To, to deliver the message in such a short time, right. but then it happened. It yeah. happened with the teamwork. Yeah. How, how long was it, by the way? Film? It's, it's 20, 25 minutes. 25 yeah. minutes, 20, 25 it's, minutes. There's a song as well, so I mean, so it, uh, with that, it, it goes up to 25 minutes. Right, right, right. <laughs> what made you to have this wonderful actress there? <laughs> why, why this cast? I mean, no doubt she's beautiful. But <laughs> But is there anything particular you thought and said, yeah, this will be Ayesha for me? Surprisingly, like, uh, like when I was uh, reading the script and when I was writing the screenplay for it, I only thought of Ayesha. Right. Like, we have, uh, we have already worked together mm -hmm. and um, she, she always does the funny comic roles and you, you can tell that suits her personality. Yeah. But she always wanted to do some, some more meaningful, some more intense sort of character. And uh, I think that uh, the role of Mariam, that's the lead of the tool. Right. So when I was thinking about it, I said, that Aisha, I can only picture you. <laughs> that, so. What made you to join hands with him? <laughs> was it difficult? Was it difficult on the set, by the way? Not really. Generally easy going, but um, actually. But he's from Multan, so he's hot enough, you know. So he's not easy going. I can tell you that. <laughs> the hottest city, like. <laughs> Yeah. But he trusted me entirely and uh, I kept on telling him because for me, comedy comes easily, it right. comes naturally. So okay. I felt it was a bit challenging, like mm -hmm. in, uh, completely, he trusted me and uh, it turned out really good. It was right. a good experience overall, right. really right. good. Right. Yeah. So, some BTS, what do you say? 
I have like so the start of the movie that we show her that she's painting, right? Right. So I mean, and then like we we got the canvas and everything. So initially we thought that we're gonna get a painting itself, and then we're just gonna pretend that you know she's painting. But uh, then we got a blank canvas. Yeah. So what did she was painting? It was just like I was like, <laughs> we cannot show this. Kind of thing. If they see this, they're gonna say like, oh, a child of like maybe a fifth grade that, uh, that child paints really well. So yeah, so we have to shoot that scene actually twice. Right. But it didn't work. <laughs> so I'm sorry, but yeah, it's a post production. We we'll try to cover it up. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Add it. Okay. Then there was a shot. We thought. No, it's not coming good. Right. So after completing everything, again we went and we shot one shot. You will see that Aisha is at a moment she's crying. Okay. I think it was yeah. intense yeah. sort of a intense. Yeah. intense. Yeah. This was the thing is like Aisha, uh, like that that particular scene was very intense and it has to be very natural. Right. So I turned it to Aisha. We we did rehearsals and then when we when the shot was ready, she did amazingly. The first shot she gave was phenomenal. Right. But then we had to take other takes, you know, and then like. She was like, "Acha, वो तो आ गया है अब मैं दोबारा कहाँ से ला?" So, but then again, now we—it's been a year that we shot this movie. So every time we uh, we sit on edit, we say, "Acha, इसको दोबारा कर लेते हैं." ये थोड़ा सा और भी Like if we keep on looking at it, we we, we well, won't be able to. There is always a room for improvement. Uh, always, we all exactly. say this. Absolutely. Said, let's just let's just be happy with whatever. No, what but I totally thing. agree with her. You know, generally the first day, yeah. uh, you know, uh, and any actor, and even it 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 applies to me too. The first day for an actor is as I think he gives the best, yeah. and after that it gets diluted and diluted and diluted and and and. But then again, you know, uh, yeah. at the end. Director makes it happen. So <laughs> this is all about it. Yeah, my my point is like to not to limit the actor uh, like in a like in a shell. So as uh, as a director, I can tell her that this is the character. This is how you have to put your emotions down. Right. But then there's a room for your own self. You have to bring Absolutely. your own character to it. Absolutely. So that's what she did, and she did phenomenal. And then we have to do it again and again towards the end, like. Because of my direction, she was a bit uh, nervous, like acting. I said, "Don't act. Just do as you're naturally. You you did it, and she did it." Well, well, I am looking forward certainly to to see her cry. <laughs> <laughs> she makes everyone cry all the time. I particularly put the scene like now, Aisha, you have to cry. <laughs> and while while shooting that, we had to control because it was too intense, and she's continuously crying. We were kind of laughing at the back of the camera. And uh, here, I would like to mention, uh, like. one of uh, the main team member the uh, a friend of mine we yeah. both have shot this video zia yeah. who is unfortunately not here right now he has traveled to pakistan okay for some uh, reasons mm -hmm. so yeah he is not here right now but uh, yeah he was the um, yeah. the leading part of the production team you know man the uh, the best part is uh, that we created this team together all passionate like they are filmmakers passionate and we are actor and actors yeah. passionately so it's a very quick thing so i don't have to explain much they don't have to ask so uh, a lot of questions so right. the chemistry that we have is amazing so we have done a lot of uh, music videos and a sitcom and th and this film and it shows well that's my next question in <laughs> fact you know that that i think this is your this is your second third film maybe how uh, but i've done a lot of short films like around 9 uh, or 10 but my uh, like our own production yeah. like our own production this was the fourth one fourth one yeah. Yeah. okay And what's the future? What the future looks like? You know, what a future project. Well, we are coming up with a, another sitcom, and Manas is part. <laughs> Maybe that's why I wanted to ask. Yeah, yeah. So, guys, look, look into it. Look into it. Look, look, looking forward for your support. Yeah. <laughs> That's a very exciting project that uh, that's in our pipeline, and then we are creating some more music videos and stuff. So a lot of projects in pipeline for now. Right, right. Um, on serious note, you know, any particular um, uh, any particular message you would like to give it to a young filmmakers, and it could come from from any of you. But what I'm saying is, uh, because Emirates Short Film Festival is all about uh, you know evolving the film industry in Dubai. So that's the, that's the end goal of it. So any particular message? My message to uh, to young filmmakers are that please follow your passion. And uh, sometimes that we lack opportunities and we think that okay we're not getting enough opportunities and we lose our hope. So create our uh, create your own opportunities. That's the only way forward. Uh, sometimes there are things that happens for you, and sometimes you make things happen for yourself. So my uh, advice is to if you don't get opportunities, create your own. Cool. Thank you for that wonderful message. And I'm really I am damn excited to watch this film called Thool. Yeah? Are you guys? On that note, 
you know, there is a ritual here, you know, in this studio. We have to take selfies. Sure. Okay? And all you filmmakers, I'm going to make a portrait of this. You know? Amazing. Yeah. So, shall so I let's, do? yeah, shall we be there? And here we go. One, two, and say cheese. Aisha, you don't have to say cheese because you're always smiling. <laughs> That's it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. A big thank you to all our sponsors, Walk Cinema, Grand Stores, Fuji Film, Dios Film Production, and many more. You keep watching Making of the Filmmakers next episodes with new filmmaker, new films, new stories, new styles, new problems, and new solutions. Till then, ciao for now. Yeah, it was good. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.